Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to fix the 0x 800712a install error in Windows 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to run the Windows Update Troubleshooter. To do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon and afterwards make sure to click on system on the left pane and then on the right side scroll down until you find the troubleshoot section and select it. Now in here click on other troubleshooters and afterwards make sure to click on the run button next to Windows Update. Now Windows will try to find any issues and fix them as soon as possible. You can then check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to run the Windows Update and Beat services. To do this press the Windows button then simply type services.msc and then select the services app from the search results. In here what you have to do is locate the background intelligent transfer service and double click it. This is the Beat service. In the properties window make sure to click on the startup type drop down menu and select automatic from the startup type. Then afterwards simply click on the start button to start the service. Now you can just click on apply and ok to save the changes. Now in the same list you have to locate the Windows Update service. Because the list is quite big what you have to do is press on a random service and then simply type the first letter corresponding to the service you're searching for. Now you can scroll down until you find the Windows Update service. In here you can do the same with the Beats service, double click it, then from the startup type drop down menu make sure to select automatic and lastly just click on the start button to start the service. Then just click on apply and ok to save the changes. Now you can restart your PC and check if the problem still persists. You can also clear the software distribution folder. To do this press the windows button then simply type cmd and then run command prompt as an administrator. In the command prompt window make sure to type the following commands but hit enter after each command to stop the windows update service and the beat service. Now that the services have been stopped what you have to do is navigate to the following location in your file explorer. C and then windows and afterwards scroll down until you find the software distribution folder. Now simply select all the files in here, right click them and then click on the delete option. Afterwards, after you deleted these files, close this file explorer, then press on the Windows button, type in cmd and then run command prompt as an administrator. Now you have to type the following commands and pressing enter after each command. Afterwards, just restart your PC and then you can check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to run an SFC and DISM scan. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type cmd and then run command prompt as an administrator. In the command prompt window just make sure to type the following commands, but pressing enter after each command. Note that the scans can take some time so you have to be patient. And afterwards just restart your PC and then you can check if the problem still persists. And lastly another great solution is to manually download the update. For this you need a browser and also access the links that I posted in the description below. So what you have to do is go to your browser and access the first link that's posted in the description below. This website is the Windows 11 update history. What you have to do in here is just note down the knowledge base version or the KB version that you have trouble installing. You can right click and simply select the copy option or simply press Ctrl plus C. Afterwards just go to the second website that I posted in the description below which is the Microsoft update catalog. In here on the right side you have a search box so what you have to do is simply paste the KB version that you copied from the other website. Now click on search. And as you can see, a few results showed up. Make sure to download the one that corresponds your system architecture by simply clicking on the download button on the right side. As you can see, nothing happens because the download doesn't start automatically. You have to right click this blue highlight link and then select the save link as option. Choose a location on your PC such as the desktop and click on the save button. Now you can minimize the browser and afterwards just double click the installer file. You can then wait for the installation to occur and then you can restart your PC and check if the problem still persists. And that's it, plenty of solutions to consider. As usual, for more information and details you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.